What's up YouTube? Welcome back. JDS Outdoors. John here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the Big Buddy Heater again. Now, a few years ago, I did a couple um, little fan trick videos on how to make your uh, fan run off of a 12-volt battery and also um, install a battery in the side compartment if you wish. I'm going to do another trick or show you. Now, most of us these days in this technological driven world have an abundance of extra broken cell phone chargers. So we're going to make this fan run off of USB. And that will allow us to run off of these uh, uh, lithium little battery pack, jump starter, cell phone charger things. Or you can run it directly off the USB on your uh, power box. I got the dual USB right here. So you can plug it right in and it'll run all day off of that. So, how we're gonna do this? Extremely easy. Starters, there's four screws in the back. You're gonna wanna remove those. Give it a little bit of a, a wiggle and the screws pop out. Now you grab the bottom and pull out, kind of lift up, just like that, and the whole back fan electrical system comes off in one unit, so you can set the buddy heater aside. Now looking at the electrical system on this, you can see that you have uh, two wires that come out of where the D-cell batteries go. And then you also have this little plug that you can plug into your wall if you have that uh, plug-in. And then the wires run up to the switch and then run down to your fan right here. So looking at where the batteries plug in, you have a black for your negative and a green for your positive. There's a few ways you can do this. Uh, one being you can solder directly to this post here into that post there, your positive and negatives. But not everybody has a solder gun. So the way we're gonna do this is a way everybody can do it. And all you need to do this is a simple wire stripper slash crimper and a two male and two female spade connectors. And what this is gonna allow you to do is with four screws, unplugging two wires and plugging two more back in, you can return this back to factory and still use your D-cell batteries should you choose to. So, for starters, we're gonna go on the side of the unit right here, and we're gonna unplug the green, which is your positive. And using your everyday, regular wire stripper you can get for 99 cents in the tool bin, just go ahead and cut off that old spade connector and strip back the wire. Once you get it stripped back, go ahead and install your female spade connector onto those wires. Give it a good little pull test to make sure it's tight. Repeat the same process for your negative. Note on your negative, you got two negative wires. So you wanna reconnect both of those back into your spade connector. Okay, once you have both of your wires hooked up, Here's your opportunity for options. You can hook it back up to this, return to using your D-cell batteries just like normal, or you can take one of your broken cell phone chargers or tablet chargers, whatever charger you have, that's got a broken end on it, and usually, I'd say about 90% of the time, your USB connector usually survives and still works. 
it's usually the end that you continuously plug in and pull out of your phone that gets damaged. So go ahead and cut off the damaged end and you're left with just a regular cable. You strip the wire back and you have two wires on the inside, the red being your positive and the black being your negative. So what we're going to do with these after you get this stripped back is we're going to go ahead take the back off of where our D cells go in. So we're going to take our wires here and we're just going to fish it through these slots just above where your battery hooks up. So no tools are really needed other than that wire crimper to do this modification. So once you get the wire fished through the back side, we can go ahead and separate positive and negative. Go ahead and give the wires a twist. And I like to fold on these really tiny gauge wires. I think this is probably 24 gauge wire. I like to fold them in half like that to give uh, your connectors a little something more to grab onto. You can go ahead and crimp on your wire or your spade connectors onto the wire. There, just like that. Now it's as simple as just plugging your red positive into your green, which is your positive, and your black into your black, which is your negative. Just like that. Now we can go ahead and reinstall this onto the back of our heater. All right, now that we got uh, the back put back on our heater here, and we have USB to power it, you can do a, a multitude of things. We're going to take our little uh, jump pack here and hook that up. Turning the power on. And see if you can hear when we flip the switch. The fan now is running off of our USB. Okay, so I have the unit turned around here, and just to show that the fan's working, I'm put this lighter in front. Right now it's off. We'll flip it on and it turns the lighter off. It won't allow me to relight. Turn the fan off, and it's going again. So you're running off that little jump pack. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and just get your um, regular old power box here. With uh, I also have a little USB extender cable. You can plug that right in to your power box and run your fan off of that as well. If you look at the uh, that little tab right there blowing in the wind. Now the fan's off. Fan on. And when you're all done using it, you can just take, shove it back in there, and uh, put your cover back on like that. So that's uh, as easy as it gets. Now, I used a really short USB. You can use a longer one. Um, you know, cell phone cables come in all different lengths and sizes. So feel free to use whichever broken one you have. And uh, enjoy yet another Big Buddy fan heater trick. Um, and keep in mind this USB thing comes in handy for many other things as well. Over here, I have uh, a bait cooler right here, a little uh, Fraybill bait cooler. And the first thing I did is I installed a USB. It's the same exact concept as, uh, as the Buddy heater. So 
can go ahead and plug it in to our little jump pack here. And you can turn it on. You can hear it running the pump for my uh, bait cooler. And then it just tucks back inside out of the way. So it doesn't only help with uh, the Big Buddy heater, but it comes in handy for many other things. So if you like what you see, feel free to like and share and uh, subscribe. I got a lot of cool stuff coming up in my uh, garage here, different projects and whatnot. I always do cool little uh, how-tos, tips and tricks, and many other things. So as always, thank you for watching JDS Outdoors.